After more than half a century of waiting, the sweet little girl seen in this forensic picture finally has a name. This is uh, unbelievable technology. I can watch this all night. Uh, we, I love the science. I, I this, this is why this, this, to, this to me is, is freaking awesome, right? The powerful puzzle-solving genetic materials. That's what it is. It's a puzzle. We're solving this puzzle using science and genetics. Sharon Lee Gallegos was abducted on July 21st, 1960, while playing with two other children in an alley behind her grandmother's house in Amagordo, New Mexico. We now know more than 60 years later that Sharon's remains were found burned and partially buried in a wash in Congress, Arizona, 85 miles northwest of Phoenix and more than 500 miles from her home in New Mexico. These are stories that are not, they're not fictional, they're real. Little Miss Nobody is, is a case where the extreme heat affected the DNA in those bones. With remains nobody could build a DNA profile from until Othram did, identifying her in 2022 as four-year-old Sharon Lee Gallegos from New Mexico, who was kidnapped. Little Miss Nobody had no hope of getting her case solved as Little Miss Nobody. Texas-based Orthram Laboratories conducted a DNA analysis, identifying the four-year-old little girl the community embraced as one of their own, even raising money to bury her in an unnamed grave all those years ago. Tuesday, Sharon's yep. nephew, Ray Chavez, born five years after his aunt was abducted, seen in this family photo with her siblings, petite and innocent. You got one shot at this because the process that they use so up all the sample. <laughs> consumes it yeah so it, it's done when they finish the process there's no more material left to test growing up we didn't talk about it too much as a family i was probably 12 years old when i finally got the courage to ask my mother about it she was feisty a happy-go-lucky almost five years old she loved playing with her cousins Sharon's name is the answer to one of many questions surrounding her abduction. The woman then got out of the car, grabbed Sharon by the elbow, and, and pulled her into the car. Lieutenant Tom Boltz with the county's Criminal Investigation Bureau says at the time there were newspaper reports in Almogordo that a white man and woman driving a dark green 1951 sedan were responsible for taking Sharon. What happened in those 10 days from the time she was taken to the time she was found? Until those questions are answered, Ray and his family are holding on to the kindness of the Yavapai community. And now to be able to put a name on that gravestone is is huge. I wish that my mother was still alive to share um, in the news. And at the same time, I know, you know, I truly believe that she has already been reunited with Sharon. 